So you want to be a filmmaker and you want to go to one of the top film schools in the United States. I'm talking USC, Chapman, UCLA, LMU, Emerson. I actually went through the whole college admissions process for film school and this is how I got into Loyola Marymount University School of Film and Television. I'm Walter Bridgewater, I'm an actor and screenwriter and filmmaker, and this is how I got into film school. But before we get into anything, I do want to preference by saying getting into a top film school does not make or break your career as a filmmaker. It's truly about how hard you are willing to work in this industry, and I'm confident to say that any film school will work for your career. You just have to make those industry connections. Okay, now to the video. Let's start with my application profile. I applied to about 20 schools, but as far as the top 10 to top 25 film schools, I only applied to about six of them, and that was USC, Chapman, LMU, UCLA, Emerson, and NYU. I am so proud to say that I was accepted from Loyola Marymount University and Emerson College. Now, as far as academics, I would like to say that I'm pretty above average in my academics. I was ranked amongst the top and competitive people in my class. I was in the top 10% in my class. I took five AP courses and three dual enrollment courses during high school. I graduated with a 4.02 weighted GPA and a 3.8 unweighted GPA. And I also did a couple of extracurricular activities in and outside of school. I was the student body vice president, the drum major in the marching band, member of National Honor Society and the National Society of High School Scholars. I'm a professional actor, content creator, and filmmaker. I also had a podcast called Teens Determined and it was published on Apple Music and Spotify. I also have my own design business called the Bridgewater Studio and I was a member of the Spanish Club also. Now, don't get too heavy about the academics because that's only one part of the application. A lot a lot of universities and film schools require materials that needs to be submitted with the application. The Common App Essay. I would say this is the most stressful part of the entire college application process because it's one essay about your whole entire life and it's also trying to learn that you can't tell them you have to show them visually through a paper. I started with my first draft in the summer and it just kept kind of getting better and better as I went on. I didn't really finish my Common App essay until like a week before early action deadline was for most schools, which is in November, I think. I think it's very important that you need to spend your time wisely on the Common App essay. So get a head start on the Common App essay because it is something that will really, really help your application. You don't have to make it too grand and too big and try to put in like words that you don't normally say, just be yourself. I ended up showing how acting made Made an impact on me and how I kind of wanted to make more diverse films my films rooted in faith now on to the portfolio application for most of the schools I applied to be a screenwriting slash dramatic writing major for a select number of schools I also applied for the film production program but for LMU specifically, I submitted for film production first and then I did screenwriting as my second major. For the LMU School of Film and Television, we are required to submit a School of Film and Television essay, which is also called the Statement of Intent on the Common App Essay. And it's basically just why do you want to go to the LMU School of Film and Television specifically. I ended up explaining what the art of storytelling meant to me and how going to LMU and enhance my goals of becoming a filmmaker in a powerful storyteller. I will also say doing a little bit of research about your school and knowing a lot of facts about it shows that you are very interested. I didn't do too much research to the point where I was just dropping names but just going to online events if you're out of state or attending in-person sessions for the School of Film and Television will make sure you get really connected with people. The next thing for the film production part of the application we had to submit a portfolio list. The portfolio list is a list of creative things that you did throughout high school or up until this point. I not only put things like the short film I did the summer before college admissions, but I also put my web design content on there also. It shows that you're not only just about film, that you're creative in different other ways. I included some links to some of the websites that they can visit that I designed. I also put the short films I wrote and a lot of the screen 
and plays that I wrote. But this part is also very important because it gives the reader a sense of how creative you are and what kind of experiences you've been through. We're still on the film production application and you had to submit a visual sample. Per their website, a visual sample of one film or video work in which you performed a primary creative role, three minutes maximum. The work may be fictional or documentary, live action or animated. We are most interested in the stories you tell and less concerned with your technical skills at this point. This part of the application really stuck to me. Not only because it's a fun part in the process of creating your own short film or music video, but it tells you specifically we're not looking for these crazy lighting or this crazy cinematography. We're looking for a story. So as long as you have a powerful story and that it comes across on screen, then there's a chance that you can get in. Now, I did not get into the film production program, but I did get into the screenwriter program. Screenwriting department actually didn't have that many requirements to submit to the department, but I've learned through talking to people that the LMU screenwriting department only accepts 45 students for their freshman cohort, which is very small. I wanted to submit something just in case I didn't get into the film production program and I ended up getting to LMU screenwriting by submitting a couple of things. I submitted the creative portfolio list. I also submitted a recent short story that I wrote. It was about three pages max and it just kind of showed the work that I wanted to do throughout college. I also submitted a scene that I wrote from one of the films I also created. I will say if you are applying to USC or NYU, please get a head start. Those requirements are a little bit harder than LMU's and even though LMU's acceptance rate is 14%, USC's and NYU's is a lot lower. Which means you really have to take your time and work on every single piece of material that is required. For USC, I think they had eight prompts that you have to do. Like one of them included two scenes. You have to write some commitment prompts, short stories. Like it's a lot. It shows them that you are really committed. Next is the equipment I used for my short film. I kind of wanted to go over this because a lot of people have this stigma that you just have to buy a camera to submit this short film. I did not. I actually submitted my short film using the cinematic mode on my iPhone 13. We actually had a really fun shoot day. We shot over two days. We had pizza and we just kind of vibed and everything. We just kind of had fun and went through the emotions of filming a short film that I wrote. I also edited the short film. Um, at the time I had a MacBook Air and I had the Final Cut Pro uh, which is always been my editing software if you don't have a computer if you don't have a camera just edit from your phone they also have final cut pro for ipad now so if you are wanting to use final cut pro ipad is now an option it's kind of crazy because i had the idea this whole time that i had to either rent a camera or buy a camera to film a short film i was looking on youtube and there were just hundreds of people who had these great cinematic cameras or great DSLR cameras that had the perfect blurriness in the background, but you just definitely don't need that. Submit what you have. As long as it's selling a story, then you have a really good chance. Last but certainly not least, I would love to give you guys some tips to help you during this application process. Number one, just be yourself in the personal essay. It's okay to use creative elements. You can use symbolism or metaphors to tie your complete story together but just in all be your true authentic self number two i think what really helped in my application is that i showed the readers what kind of content and shows or movies that i want to make i think you can kind of show it through your personal essays and show it through the required materials that they give you to submit for the statement of intent i actually included in the essay that i wanted to make real raw stories that tied up to faith even though filmmakers get ideas from others it shows that you're trying to make your own unique approach to filmmaking that's what we ultimately need number three i think you should start your application very early i'm talking about now in the summer i started writing my supplements for lmu and usc starting in march because i just really wanted to have the time to develop characters to develop a storyline that actually mean something and that will connect with the readers. Getting a head start also means you won't really have that much stress in your senior year and trust me, senior itis definitely got to me. 
I kid you not, college applications is literally a whole nother class on top of your other courses in high school. So please get a head start. Lastly, get help. Don't write your essays and materials alone and thinking that it's done. Use your resources and ask friends for truthful and thoughtful feedback. I'm so glad that I connected with a lot of my friends. I'm thankful for my friend Michaela Lysak who helped me develop some story behind my screenwriting and just Help me on formatting screenplays. So thank you, Michaela. My friend Faith, she's also a filmmaker and she really helped critique my script and I actually learned a lot from it. I also connected with my director and a film I starred in a couple years ago and he also gave me a lot of feedback. Just helped me think of screenwriting in a whole different form and filmmaking in a whole different form. So I promise you, if you reach out to people about your personal essays and your short film, it will really help a lot. I also actually connected with my English teachers to help me with my personal essay since that's kind of aside from like the film industry a little bit. It's always great to seek help so don't be afraid. I really hope I did as much as I can to help you at least apply for film school. Just putting yourself out there will make a big difference in your applications. So go create your film, go get your story, and submit to the best film schools in the world. And I promise you, you will get into the school that you are meant to go to. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like filmmaking and vlogs, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.